Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Tillman. And before we get into this next video, I want you to do one thing. I want you to put yourself in the shoes of the officer, and I want you to honestly ask yourself how you would respond. Can you do that for me? That's all I ask. Put yourself in the shoes of the officers. I want to know how you would respond in the comment section below. Now let's get into it. Ron Tillman, real talk. The truth. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you a video. Officers were, you know, doing some work. Looks like it's New York City, and they are writing somebody a citation for having a bike on the sidewalk. Now, some of you guys are going to say that's petty. Uh, why the officer's doing it? It's part of their job. Who knows? They might be doing extra enforcement. Who knows? There's probably people that complain all the time about people riding bikes on the sidewalk and hit, hitting people. So that's why they may be doing the writing citations. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what I'm here to discuss. What I'm here to discuss is how they were treated. So I want you guys, again, put yourself in the shoes of the officer. Uh, be careful. There is some strong language. So if you have kids around you, you might want to put your volume low or just read the captions. But anyways, let's watch the video. Let's check it out. Peace. Peace, peace, keep it going, what? keep it pushing. No, it no he need another paperwork. It was, it's supposed to be Where's the this? paperwork? Why would you give me this? And yeah, the give me the copy of the other paperwork. Don't play, we're not stupid. That's all you get. No, you don't. No, no, you don't. no we don't. You're no, we don't. You're getting your paperwork back for the bike. All right, so let's get it right now. It's in the car. So let's go right now. Back the f away from me, bro. Back the f away from me, bro. You're getting close to my circle, bro. You Little twenty year old, you ain't nobody, my. Yeah, shut yeah. up, shut up. You ain't got nobody to summon nobody. You ain't got nothing better to do, bro. Relax, relax, relax. Ain't nobody harassing you. Ain't nobody threatening you. You feel threatened? That's your problem, cause you're. Relax, relax. Um, for the fact is that you giving me a, you giving me a. On the sidewalk when his battery died, when he's coming out of work? Riding it or walking it? Riding it or walking it? Riding it or walking it? No, no, you f***ing son. Y'all both is lame, man. Riding it Go s***. Go f***, man. Shut the f***. She a f***, too. Yeah, whatever the f***. Yo, f***. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going, man. You got nothing better to do, man. You ain't a man, son. Take your sh take your fucking vest off and throw your back to the side and square off with a real. You ain't real, man. He's a man. Take that card, Nick. Take this. This is played right here. Four, three. Kind of funny that I already knew that this was New York City without even knowing it was New York City. But how would you guys respond to that? Did you guys just like legitimately listen to everything? How many of you guys? We're just getting irritated just listening to it. I mean, I was. So I want to show this video because this right here, this behavior happens more often than you realize. This is what officers deal with on a regular basis. I, myself included. Now, obviously not a much, not as much. I don't, I'm not on the streets like I used to be. Um, uh, but when I was on the streets, I dealt with this a lot. I dealt with this frequently. Anytime you do your job, anytime you got a job to do, somebody's not going to be happy about it. And so... Let me ask you, at any other profession, let's say you were a waiter, a waitress, let's say you worked at a car wash, wherever you work, would you put up with somebody like this or would you probably clap back? Now, as officers, we don't have that ability to necessarily clap back. I know sometimes we do because we're human, but we're called to be a higher standard. We're called to be professional. But I, I want you guys to see how difficult, how difficult it is to be professional when you're dealing with people like this. You know, I, I, I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ. I try to be an example and a witness everywhere I go. But sometimes you get human. Sometimes you get mad. Sometimes I don't want people calling me out of my name. And so, again, I'm not trying to make excuses for the officer. But I, what I want you to do as a civilian watching this, put yourself in the shoes of the officers and ask yourself, how would I respond? And honestly answer that question. Some of y'all going to be like, oh, I would respond like a saint. I wouldn't say nothing. I'd be so cool. Come be real with yourself. And I know some of y'all, some of y'all got hot. You guys are hot-headed. Some of y'all got temperate. So I know how some of y'all would respond. So anyways, 
in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys will respond. Shout out to these officers for being professional, for still being courteous, and for still just continuing to do their job despite what these, these people try to say to them or do to them. So with that being said, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Leave me a comment below, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, and God bless. Ron Tillman, real talk. It's the truth.